Hi Capricorn, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-December general reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Capricorn, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Capricorn, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships with right now. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Capricorn, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to find out to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, let's get right into this. Again, this is your mid-December general reading. Happy early birthday to all of you Capricorns out there. We are very close to your season. All right, we've got two more shuffles. <clears throat> Spirit, one of the best and highest messages for Capricorn in mid-December. Some of you are having a little bit of a throat chakra situation where you're you're trying to speak up speak your voice speak your truth about something here yeah five of wands at the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with um this is very competitive energy and i feel like ahem like you're the one that's like hey hey let's stop this you know what i mean with you're the one that's like ahem yeah you have the five of wands here so there's a lot of um just catty energy competition it's the holidays, family, that kind of thing is what I'm mostly feeling for a lot of you. Six of Cups, yeah, this is like love. Um, you and the people you're around, y'all love each other. Maybe you've known each other for a long time. Um, and you're trying to find out the best way to find some conflict resolution. It feels also, it also feels for some of you, like say for example, you don't live in your hometown and say for the holidays, you or for your birthday because it's your birthday come back to your hometown or something like that and it's just like everyone is so like well, when do i get to see you when do i get to see you da, 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 da. Like I, 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 you know like they're very and you're just like okay calm down like everyone that five of wands actually felt it felt like from love like people are like but what are you doing but i want to see you because it had the six of, of cups with it so that's like sweetheart soulmate energy hometown childhood kind of vibe okay so i feel like people are just like chomping at the bit to see what you're up to let's find out what's the current situation oh my god with capricorn you have the moon and the strength card out pisces cancer leo for some of you very specific for some of you you've been enduring some type of emotional situation five of cups okay yeah this feels like some you're dealing with some tough emotions here, letting go of the past. Um, something specifically for some of you could have happened at night and you're just like, oh my gosh. So like a nighttime activity, something happened, an event, you heard something, clarity. That you're going through something deeply emotional. What's crossing Capricorn here? Okay, a new beginning. So it's like um, the magician and temperance are also being known here. So I feel like this is a crossing energy, something that's helping you or hindering you. Helping you is this new beginning to come out of this kind of difficult, emotional, stagnant energy you've been in. And maybe like just the scenario I just talked about, hometown, family, maybe for some of you, it's really hard to face something there. Hard to deal with a parent situation, a, a, something like that. And I feel like with this, with this um, I almost said Knight of Wands, with this page, feels like a person, I keep saying page, knight. It's like a person that y'all are dealing with, but this, Ace of Wands, this new beginning, is how do you want to, I'm hearing react to this situation. Because I feel like everyone's kind of looking at you about something that's happened. And it's like, well, how is Capricorn dealing with it? And with the Ace of Wands, you're just like, let me show you. Let me boss up and show you that I'm going to make lemon out of lemonade. You know what I mean? What's your focus? Boom. The damn truth is your focus. Ace of Swords, okay? Hangman, you've been hung up on this for a while and you're just ready to communicate, speak your truth, speak up. But also with the Ace of Swords, it's the hardest ace because it does involve a sacrifice. It's that double-edged sword energy. So I feel like that it has everything to do with communication and a decision that you're making where Moon card, 
um, strength card. Those are very deep emotions that you've been dealing with. And it's like, okay, well, here's what I'm going to do about it. <clears throat> here's my, see, I'm getting caught up again. Like, <clears throat> like I'm getting scratchy. For some of you, it's like, you have to speak up. I'm not telling you what you have to do, but it's the energy of, because you've just been over here, hangman, not really speaking your truth, not really um, staking your claim here, but now is time for, for that. You have two new beginnings at your door, okay? This is your opportunity to get out of this heavy energy. Recent past, full card. So something something new, three new energies here. Um Three cards of, of new things here. Um, you could be newly nine of pentacles, newly single, newly independent, off on your own in whatever regard that is. But you are free now. You freed yourself recently. Okay. And maybe that's what this was. Maybe you freeing yourself from, you know, a parent situ parent child situation, from a relationship, from whatever. Nine of pentacles. Maybe in a job scenario where you're like, you know what? I'm going to nine of pentacles this i'm gonna capricorn the shit out of this and just start my own business very you and like of course you're gonna ace it and be amazing um uh, but i feel like whatever this is you freed yourself from something that you felt bound and tied to you were like living in this kind of boxed energy so yeah of course if you made a decision recently that's why the strength card show up sh is showing up you're just like oh i hate to hurt their feelings but yeah What's crowning Capricorn? Okay, you have the Eight of Cups, knowing that the heart has to get in tune with the mind at this point, okay? That it's time to emotionally pack up and emotionally, I can't be there anymore. It's maybe been hanging on to something, someone, the expectation, blah, 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 blah. Okay, Empress, this is you truly getting in a divine feminine energy to receive because where you have been, you've not been able to receive your blessings and you know that that's why you've been on the move here but i love that the full card in the recent past so you have freed yourself from a situation so and it's like all sun bright yellow a lot of yellow solar plexus with a string card look who took their power back <clears throat> capricorn did yes 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 Holy shit, in your near future, new contract, two of wands. New year, new you, it's your birthday, like boom, get ready. This is travel arrangements, agreements, new contracts, leaving something. Look at that wand, you've been enduring it for a long time, but this is you leaving that place, that person, that situation, whatever, boom. New contract, higher level, better for you. But the two of wands is about initiation. This is not about thoughts, emotions, or pentacles about your worth. This is about you actually physically getting up to do something about it. And I feel like that is what you're communicating about, Ace of Swords. Like, hey, listen, this is what's going to happen. Da -da 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 -da. Bye. <laughs> and it's like, you know, with it, with this strength card here, I keep looking back. It's like, for some of you, I keep hearing on your end. Like if you were to tell me how you're feeling about this situation, you're like, I hate to be the bad guy or I don't want to play bad cop, but like you feel bad about something or someone that you're communicating something to, but you're like, but I got to do this for me because it's about me. Y'all know this. It is about you. What's your power here? What is your power? You have the death card card of scorpio with the seven of swords um for some of you you are just like done 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 final done it's over it's done with someone a situation scorpio's card and that's why i feel like with this with the ace of swords here it's a double-edged sword you're done also done with what seven of swords death card is about literally like it's done it's like buried it's like it's toast it might as well also be the, the world card in some degree where a cycle is so closed, like we're not opening it, it's done. Seven of Swords is also saying we're done with what? Seven of Swords it. We're done lying. We're first of all done lying to ourselves about how hard this has been, about the emotional, I'm hearing emotional wear and terror it has taken on you. 
it's okay to communicate about that, about how you really feel. That's been something you've been holding yourself back, but also this is for some of you, it's like, I'm, I'm not dealing with someone else's lies anymore. You've been dealing with it, you're dealing with it, and they've been lying to you right in your face, right in your face. And you're just like, you know what? I was gonna play nice, and now I have to be the bad cop, see? Now I get it. It's like, I feel like you gave someone a situation, a person, whatever, that wasn't really serving you anyways, you've already made efforts, to get this multi-moving part situation going. The train is definitely already going. Full card is here in your past. You, the train is hoo -hoo, is going. But on the caboose was this other person, whatever was holding it behind. All right, fine, you can come, but I'm not really trusting you right now. We'll just drag you on at the end here. But, but, but we'll see how you play, we'll see how it works out. But I feel like we've been down that road, we've done that play nice, we've played nice before, and you're like, you know what, I hate to have to do this to you, but cut, you didn't play by the rules, you're still lying to me, like, you know what I mean? Like, you are just, I'm just seeing toast, like burnt toast, like you're done, throw it out, done. You've burnt me one too many times. Oh, oh the metaphors and the, the visions today with y'all, love it. Maybe not what y'all love to hear, but I'm getting lots of visuals for y'all. What is that, Claire? Audience? No, that's this one. Claire sentient? I don't know. I don't know. What's hidden from y'all? Let's keep going. Uh, oh, fuck. Okay, six of wands with the six of cups. Those are both great cards, but the lover's card here is I feel I immediately heard gaslighting. So just be really careful that someone that you are ending things with, a friend, a family member, a lover situation, six of cups lovers. is a, a choice, is an option. It's probably a karmic lesson for a lot of you. Uh, be careful of gaslighting. It's a big gaslighting energy here, okay? What is gaslighting? That is a huge tool that a narcissist will use to get all the people that you care about, your friends or family, whatever, because, oh, we split. This is their way to get back at you and hurt you. Oh, did you hear what Capricorn did to me? Did you see what they said to me? Oh my God, I didn't do anything. Da -da 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 -da. I can't believe that they left me. I, I know, can you believe it? Oh my God, I am so hurt. Why would they do that to me? Da -da 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 -da. Everything turns into victim mentality. Capricorn did this, Capricorn did that. You know what, you know what? I would look at right, them back at the eye, right back in the eye and go, you know what, I sure fucking did. Cause I'm done with you. Yeah, 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 uh, careful though. Six of wands, or this is also, I see them like posting things on social media, world card, it's done. And that's why they're so desperate for attention. Six of wands is a victory card all day long. But it was tied to the Six of Cups. This is someone who feels like they're going to get a victory on what? Six of Cups is immediately also like a child energy. And that's what they gave me. It's like someone's going to be like excited to act like a child. That is a narcissist. Okay? Careful who you're around. Okay? We'll, we'll get deeper into that one in a second. Okay? Because look, you're literally... You have your back to it. This is how they're showing up in my spread. This is what you're putting behind you. And also Six of Wands is like someone who maybe you've walked away from, a friend, a family member, a, a romantic situation, whatever. Six of Wands is they're like, ha ha, I keep the house, ha ha, I got the nice car. You're like, cool, have it all because not being around you is where I win. Oh, it's like that. Oh, damn, okay. Capricorn's hopes and fears here. Damn straight, judgment card. What did I say earlier about the death card? This is not going back. This can be a card of resurrection, but this is like, uh-uh, I learned my lesson. Don't bring that back to me, mm-mm. You're like, spirit, get me out of here. That you're already gone, you're already gone. You just can't bring this other person situation, the whatever, the liar, the manipulator, the abuser, whatever, you can't, they can't, there's no room. There's no room on your train, there's no room.
Five of Cups came out. It's gonna be a very emotionally, I, I feel that. Um, it's almost like they wanted to come out with hopes and fears, like you don't wanna go back to the same old thing. Like that's what I was picking up on. Okay, what's the outcome here? And what? <laughs> I mean, you might second guess yourself, but you're fine. Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles is your outcome here. Um, this is you saying what you need to say, like, I'm clear in the air, ahem, <clears throat> ahem is coming back, so I started getting a little ahem <clears throat> again. It's like, ahem, did you not hear what I said? For some of you, like, you're kicking someone out of your house, your home, your space, they're out of the band, they're out of the group, they're out, or you're out. You're removing yourself. Please take it how it applies. This is still a general reading, thank you. Um, but four pentacles, like, you're on solid ground here. This person can't touch your heart anymore. They can't, they can't, uh, they're not going to screw with your emotions any longer right now, Capricorn. Uh, also you as the four of pentacles, no matter what they think that they have or are taking from you, they will never take your boundaries, your heart, your, who you are. Okay. We have the two of swords, the eight of swords and the seven of cups here and the four of swords. Um, this is definitely once you make this decision, I feel like you'll be like, well, like almost second guessing, like, was that the right thing? Did I, did, did I say that right? Did I, did I, did I? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Because you've already freed yourself from the situation. You have new passions, Ace of Wands. You have um, new passion projects, people, fire signs, like ready to go and help you move forward. Um, I feel like these are healthy, like friends, um, inspirations, appearing influencers, people who like you get influenced or inspired by helping you navigate the situation you know up here it's been time for you to move on down here okay and that can definitely be your ace of swords a hard truth within yourself but also the hard truth that you have to communicate to whoever else is involved in this situation because once you speak up babe it is it is over with this is a huge the, one of the biggest transformations that you'll probably make all year long okay six of wands is something hidden from you also if it's not about another person you do have a hidden victory that you don't see now that we're going back over, there's like a two-folded message with this. So someone who's, but they're riding away from you. So I'm still picking up that like this person feels like they're winning. Like I won, me and Capricorn, this is a friend, a family member, lover, whoever. I say it like that because it's a general, whoever this is for you. They feel like mm, I got a one up. I got a one up on Capricorn. See, ha 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 but they didn't because that petty ass energy isn't getting anyone anywhere all fucking day long. Yeah, 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 okay? Judgment, time to move and level the fuck up away from those people. And you are, so that is actually your hidden reward as well. I will give you a round of applause. I feel like as soon as I feel that and get that from you, that's when the Knight of Swords is like, that gives you all the confidence that you need. Where? Here, in the throat. To say whatever the fuck you need to say <laughs> okay because you're stable you're grounded this person can't take anything from you at this point anymore okay uh y'all had the judgment card also at the bottom of the deck for your pre-shuffle oh yeah the empress oh my god i only saw the empress before holy fuck this is your pre i already pre-shuffled this to save some time you have judgment again which is your hopes and fears wait a minute Empress with the Emperor. I saw the Empress, but I didn't go far back enough to look at the Emperor. And the Ten of Cups! Ah! Okay, this is high level shit. This is definitely some high level stuff. Like the hard part, like the hardest parts are really coming to the end here, Capricorn. So this is saying that you are making some huge decisions to come into bigger divine partnerships. People who are, who are literally on your level. Because you've been trying to keep it all together. That's like, I feel like we've gotten the two of pentacles. It's not here now. It's not here now in this reading to start off because the two of pentacles, I want to say Capricorn, have been in like a lot of your last readings. Meaning like, how do I manage all of this? There's not all of this to manage. They got to go. That's the thing. That's the thing is they got to go or it, whatever. Whatever that you were like, okay, fine. You can hang on for a little bit. Like you're around, but like the train only moves forward. Do you understand? So like we're just cutting off that tail end so that you can literally free yourself. Do you understand? Because once you free yourself and give yourself that extra space, 
boom, real true partners come in, empress, emperor, love, uh, if that's in career, a true partner, someone who can be at your level because you're at a very high level. <sighs> okay, why is the moon card strength card here together? Pisces, Cancer, Leo specifically for some of you. Moon and strength, why is this here for Capricorn? Uh, Wheel of Fortune, holy shit, major changes are happening. You've learned your karmic lesson here. Ahem. <clears throat> See, I'm getting coughed up, getting like phlegmy again. A lot of you have learned your lesson and it's just, I need to speak up. Um, you're, you're completing your lesson by making a choice. Boom. Two of swords, four of wands, nine of cups, four of swords. For some of you, oh shit. For some of you specifically in love, um, you two of swords, you may have been thinking about two people, maybe dealing with two people, but in this deck, the, there's no, um, there's no blinders on. You put your swords to the side. You've let the universe take over, AKA the wheel of fortune. You know, like, you know, what, whatever spirit is, says is best for me is what's best for me. And you've come into complete union and alignment with yourself, four of wands. So congratulations and Knight of Cups. There is, um, you've really, really balanced your emotions and come into, I'm hearing, you've come into balance with your emotions. It's almost like a justice card wants to be here. Four of Swords. Um, for some of you too, there seems to be a commitment. <clears throat> yeah, a commitment coming in. Someone that loves you very much that you want to make that work with, but you would have to leave this other place, person or destination or situation. And that's what you've been at back and forth about. Anything on this four of wands for you, four of pentacles this is going to be a safe place for you is what I heard. And what about this prince of cups for Capricorn, queen of pentacles? So this is someone that truly values you, sees your worth. Cause I feel if this is about even a friend, but it feels like a little more romantic. But even if this is a friend, you're like, I just don't want to be taken advantage of anymore. Can people see where I'm at? Or am I just going to constantly be, be used? Like that's again, y'all talking to me feeling that way. And with the four of pentacles um, and the four of wands, like you're in a safe place, safe home, safe boundaries within yourself. So now seven of swords, death card, you can now trust yourself. What's this ace of wands? What's this new beginning? Uh, for you could be a fire sign coming in it's something new that the universe is bringing you <clears throat> that you're very influenced very passionate about <sighs> queen of pentacles came out again in the sun card i mean you're passionate about what your happiest most abundant days duh sun card leo energy out again and the high priestess what's this ace of wands for you could be a career um career endeavor for you. I say that in the three of pentacles come out. So whether this is about love or career, either way, and this three of pentacles is, is you're finding new people, um, new situations to collaborate and build or, or rebuild with, if that applies. I feel a moment mostly like building something new. Um, queen of wands here, two queens, you and someone doesn't have to be two females, just feminine energy. You and someone are really, really matching each other's energy and are like right there on the same page in how you want to build what? What are you building? The sun. You're building your happiest days, your most abundant days, the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. I looked at the sun card and we got the king of cups again. Okay, so or I'm sorry, King of Cups or the Prince of Cups or the King of Cups. So for some of you, this is a relationship that develops and it makes you very, very happy. A prince to a king is very good development. Okay, your focus is the Ace of Swords. Ah, it's the harsh truth, y'all. I feel it. Five of Cups came out. And it's like, it feels like an emotionally tough choice. Yeah, Five of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. What is this Ace of Swords for you? Okay, Five of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, you know by saying this truth, yeah, you're gonna get a fight from this person, whoever you're delivering that news to. But I, but, uh, they're so frustrated. And why? It's because they're just like, well, you're with someone else. Or this is about someone else. But 
maybe, but probably not. You're like, no, this is about me. Look at you, this is you, you're focused. It's even coming from, this light is coming from above you, from source, from spirit, from God, whatever you resonate with, to what? Eight of Pentacles, focus on you, your abundance, your health, your worth, and there's that rose right in the middle. Your love. We have the two fives here, five and five. This is, there's been a very hard cycle that is done. Wheel of Fortune, number 10. It, the cycle is done. We can move on now, okay? Princess of Pentacles. You might still be a student here, but you have learned a lesson. Yeah? Yeah. Who comes first? You come first. What's the full card in your recent past? <laughs> Y'all, 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 Ace of Swords, see, it was hard. You're like, see, I gotta go to my light here. This is you definitely speaking up and like, hey, I'm not feeling this or like whatever. And I know this is not what you wanna hear, but I gotta take care of me, bye. <laughs> Why is the full card here for Capricorn? Ooh. <laughs> you guys. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play with a Capricorn right now. I would not challenge you right now. You have the Queen of Wands and the Princess of Pentacles, okay, with the Empress. For someone, it's like you had to put someone in their place. Maybe if you're not, even if you're not done with them, you had to put someone in their place. Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles. And like, hey, listen. Yeah, you had to put, that's all I keep hearing is you had to put someone in their place. Someone who's acting like a page, someone who still has a lot to learn. That could be you, but I'm picking this up as, hey, you striking the Ace of Swords, listen up. We're going to change things around here because all Aces represent change happening because it's something new coming. It's a new energy, new perspective, new person, new voice, new love, whatever the Ace is, right? So this is a new perspective, a new communication from you because you're this fire energy now being like, you know what? If you don't want to learn, this is this this is when you gave this person the opportunity. Like, hey, I see you're a page, and I'm up here, and that's fine. But if you're going to keep acting like this, you can just stay on the caboose. I don't know why it keeps coming as trains and cabooses today, but that's your reading. You know what I mean? But, like, now if they're going to keep lying to you and not showing up and not investing and staying a page, you're going to cut them loose. I, I definitely feel like that's what y'all have been through. Empress. And you're just like, see, I've schooled you. You put someone in their place, big time. Ooh, woo! What's this Eight of Cups crowning you? Six of Wands, it's a, vic it's a personal victory for you, a personal win, very good. What's this Eight of Cups, world card? Oh, you put it to bed. You close a cycle so that something new can come in. Out with the old, in with the new. Two of Wands, this is a new direction, which we have right here. Um, new contracts, new passions, new desires. We're going for all that. Eight of Cups, why is this crowning you? Justice, Libra for some of you, but you're doing what's right, what's fair. This was meant for you. This was meant to be. The, the way this whole thing has played out is was meant to be for you. Magician, you've made this happen. You called this in, you asked for it, and now you got it. Your heart has still been the last thing kind of to move on, but you know now. You're like, well, everything else I've moved on in every other way. Now it's time to emotionally move on. Very good. You're doing what's fair, what's best for right for you. For you. And with the justice card, as you close a cycle, that's good for now everybody. That's what I just heard. Let's look at this two of wands, this new direction you're going in. That hit the death card and it was like six cards. I don't know. I don't want to take it. What's this two of wands for Capricorn, please? Where are you going? You knew it. You knew what's coming to you. What do you feel right now? You already know. Don't don't play games like you don't know. The lovers, King of Pentacles, someone. Oh, I don't know. To match your Queen of Pentacles, right? Someone who's worth it. Someone who's gonna spoil you the way that you spoil others. You have a lovers card, Gemini, Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
um, and the high priestess is like your your intuition just knew babes the whole time duh um, and then five of pentacles is where you're leaving lonelyhood singlehood feeling without this person without this situation this is meant to be i keep hearing that now for you like this is your destiny and this is meant to be they literally wrote down i'm gonna write down destiny destiny one second this is your destiny i'm getting like big um star card energy with that like this was already pre-written in the stars and look at how happy you are whether you're doesn't matter male or female but just in your masculine energy like look at the giant smile on your face they're here it's here the new job the person the contract the thing and, and again like i said it's like what, what was it what did you feel mm -hmm. you got it but it didn't have it didn't come easy with having to close some other doors off i get it what's this death card for you <laughs> uh, bye you're in your chariot like getting the f out of there Too many, way too many. What is this death card here for Capricorn, please? Yeah. Um, four of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some, but this is someone who's kind of kept you in that box because they they play emotional. This is a, an emotional manipulator. Queen of Swords, look at that. Jealous. They see you with someone else another friend, another lover, they don't care. This person's very possessive over you and keeps you what? In that four of pentacles in that box, okay? Keeps you in the home, in the relationship, in the connection, on their terms. It's not on their terms anymore. Mm -hmm. Seven of cups, look at you. Confused, not feeling it, That all that is over with. We're clarifying the death card. What is done, that is done. Of you living in a box being confused you're, you're in your car and you're moving forward you found balance with the white and, and the dark with the light and the dark it's like some of you have like let your shadow self like really come to life congratulations and welcome that's true balance if you can identify what your shadow is look at it and i'm hearing behave with it cohesively okay that's why you're in this, you're like, hey, I know where I can be dark and I've had, I have control over it now. And a lot of you have been fearing that because it might come out like hurtful. You didn't want to hurt anybody. Something like that's coming through. But at this point, you're just like, no, I, I'm good. I'm going to say it the way I need to say it or it's going to get done the way it needs to get done. Like you face your own fear here. <sighs> yes. What is this six of wands hidden from you? Spirit, what is this six of wands hidden from Capricorn? Oh! Okay, with this strength card showing up there, a little bit of that gaslighter energy, so be careful, but, and this is on the chariot too, so this is someone coming towards you. Uh, Nine of pentacles, someone single, someone who's in love with you, page of cups, princess of cups, and nine of cups, that's the ten of cups. That's, the, you're a dream come true to them. You're a wish fulfillment. For some of you, again, this is a hidden victory where you've pulled away from um, some type of family situation, gone off on your own, and that's like really good for you, emotion, it's very healthy for you. But this Princess of Cups, she has a ring on her finger and that person's looking at you, he or she. So there is new love or a new offer, it could be a friend, something, some kind type of new connection here, and that would be a wish fulfillment at least on their part, okay? Um, strength card could be a Leo. But with the strength card and the six of wands, again, for some of you, this person um, will gaslight you when y'all become um, single from each other. You know what I mean? Okay. What's this judgment energy for Capricorn? Yes. You have the prince of pentacles. You slow and steady. Five of Pentacles, like, hey, I'm in unknown territory, but I'm okay. Dwight Yoakam, you're not that lonely yet. I ain't that lonely yet. For some of you, yeah, this is about an ex, or even doesn't have to be an ex, someone that's like, 
man, if they ever come back around, man, I won't be that lonely where I won't take them back. You know what I mean? Whoever that person is for you. <clears throat> for some of you, that's your song right now. Mm, I love Dwight. Judgment, Capricorn. Four of Swords with the Two of Pentacles. Um, and the King of Cups. You're hoping that this new level where you go, you'll be able to, you'll be able to feel comfortable and feel like you can rest and relax and be yourself. And you will be. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands, King of Cups. Okay. But this, you have to remember to leave your old fears and all that stuff that you just faced. You have to leave it there. You can't bring it with you. That's your homework. Okay. What's this outcome energy, this Knight of Swords? What is it that you have to say? Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. I told you. Beautiful. Six of Swords. Ah, yes. With the Ace of Pentacles. You are moving on. This is a vacation, a getaway. You're literally physically moving to someone or someone's physically moving towards you. Ace of Pentacles. Something real. Something long-lasting. Something for you to invest in. And I think someone's going to invest in you. Your mental health is like you're feeling way better about things mentally. I love that. And why? Because you spoke up. Outcome. Anything else for outcome here? Yes, we have the full card. I love it. We have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. You've definitely taken a strong hold of your situation. You've freed yourself from lots of limiting people, situations, beliefs even. Okay, you're really coming into your own. Uh, you have the two of wands with the emperor. And then you right here, we have the devil. And what I tell you about the star, like you're destined for this. This was meant for you. This new chapter, this new contract, this divine masculine. You've mastered yourself. Very, very, very good. Very beautiful. Okay, Capricorn, that's your reading. I love y'all so much. We're going to do the pick a card. So for those of you that want to do the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the person that won the pick a card this time is Amy Mateo. Amy Mateo, you are my winner. Capricorn, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. That's it. And please uh, please put your first and last name so that way I can write it um, on the card like this. Because some sometimes y'all have like a very common name and so I could be saying anyone. I need your first and your last name, please, okay? Just for the sake of being more specific to whoever wins, okay? Um, and that's it. I love y'all. And it's only for subscribers. Y'all know the drill. I'll see y'all in the love reading or next time. I love y'all and thank you always for your support. All right, this one and two more. This is for Amy Mateo. Amy, thank you so much for being a subscriber. Spirit, what do we have for Amy Mateo, please? Amy Mateo. Okay, we have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Amy, um, and the Five of Swords. Mm. You're not really feeling it with someone right now. You're in a lot of conflict, possibly even conflict with yourself, feeling like uh, you're kind of stuck on what someone said or what you said in some type of argument um, or conflict situation. Amy Mateo, please. Four of Swords. You are resting from a Three of Swords from something very painful that's happened to you. Five of Pentacles, maybe a breakup or separation. You do feel alone, lost, and in the cold right now. Full card. You you have freed yourself though from a situation. The lovers, Gemini energy. There is a new um, divinely guided person or situation coming in. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, Five of Swords, bottom of the deck. You have the Two of Swords, Judgment. So there's a huge decision to make about this situation. Girl, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. That's a lot, but I'm going to take it. These three are together. Judgment, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. So I feel like there's definitely a new person. It could be an air sign or water sign. It's like they want to group them all together like this. Like this is all in one, like one energy. 
Yeah, I feel like Five of Swords, the bottom of the deck, and the Hierophant, you've been going back and forth with someone for quite some time. I do feel like the inevitable happens and you separate yourself from them or them from you, however that works out. And then the Lover's card, then something new and exciting comes in. You're going to have to think about it. And then once you make the decision to, it'll be a new love and a new life and a new perspective for you. Lots of new, 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 new coming in. What's this Four of Swords? What's this Four of Swords for Amy, please? The Nine of Swords and the Star card. And the Queen of Pentacles. You've learned something about karma, Amy, where it's like, you, yeah, you, you, double energy. It's like if someone broke your heart or broke up with you or did something kind of shitty to you where your feelings are really hurt, instead of you being like, I can't wait for them to get theirs, you're just like, well, that was shitty, but I just hope that when I, the next time that comes around or the next person that I get something better. You know how to practice real karma. Very, very good. And there was something that was like destined and meant to happen um, that it, it felt feels like the inevitable for you. Okay, on your five of pentacles, the two of pentacles, uh, in this lonely single kind of vibe, you are juggling a lot and you're very worried about maybe money, but you have the six of pentacles, the two of wands. There's someone to help you out, to get you moved out, moving on, okay? Um, as soon as you ask, you shall receive. So if, if you need like some money or something like that, there's someone who you already know who it is who you could ask and they can help you. And I feel like it's getting you moved out of a situation. Lovers, strength card, page of swords, three of swords. Yep. Could be dealing with a Leo, but this has been a hard decision for you to make to cut ties with somebody. Okay. And move away from them. Move on. Okay. Uh, two of Swords, Hierophant, Page of Wands. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Eight of Swords, Six of Swords. You, the reason why you've been kind of holding back on this decision, A, maybe there's kids involved, but I feel more so like the person that you've been married to or in a high-level commitment to that they got the Page of Wands. They've been really acting like a real baby. Like if you've been in a relationship or partnership, you've basically been a mom to an adult. Yeah. Eight of Swords. Yeah, I'd be in my head too. Like what did I get myself into? <sighs> yeah. I also feel a little bit of like rip the, rip the band-aid off energy here and like, okay, I just need to do it. All right, what's this judgment card? Nine of Pentacles. You going off on your own, babe. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups. That's it. You have all this new stuff. New suitors, new love, new ideas, new communication. Ace, 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 Ace. With the full card, new, 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 new. Multiple new people, situations, locations, opportunities. All, all of them. The, 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 the decision here is Nine of Pentacles. It's to you to do it on your own, not attached to this person or situation over here um that's your reading if there's anyone else still here i love y'all and i'll see you in the love reading or next time Mwah. bye